Amen. Thank you, preacher. Man, y'all don't mess around, do you? Get me up here in five five minutes, sir, and I think that's a I think that's a hint. Uh, uh, is that a hint? All right. Well, what a blessing it is to be here this evening. Sure is good to be in church. I'm glad I'm in church tonight. Thank God. We know. Oh, I tell you, folks, we are blessed. You are you are the elite tonight. If you're sitting in here this evening. You don't know how blessed you are. Most of the world out there tonight, going up and down the road, have no idea right. of where they are, where they're going, what they're doing here. No purpose in life. Oh, my, 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 how thankful we ought to be. Amen. We ought to be right. shouting the walls down here tonight Amen. how good God's been to us. Well, right. it is good to be here this evening, and I'm gonna, uh, I'll do as uh, they texted me a, few, a couple months ago and asked me about this, and so that's what I'm going to do tonight. It's going to be a little bit different. I uh, want to encourage you to be sure and pray. During the service tonight, it'll be, uh, as I said, different. Uh, pray for all of our folks back home. And I've usually got one Sunday a year, one Sunday a year, and I'm ours it. Once in a while, I'll go two, but normally one a year. And I, but, but I let Brother Rowan talk me into that many years ago. And it just sort of turned into a tradition. So uh, anyway, you know, every time the preacher's gone, something will go crazy at home, or somebody will show up you've been trying to get to come for about a year. And so I'm sure that'll happen tomorrow at home. So y'all pray for them. They did it was to say now that 126,000 homes in the mountains of North Carolina have been destroyed or damaged. 126,000. There are thousands of people that are still unaccounted for. It's a, it's a, no, nobody's ever seen nothing like what they've seen. We never had a hurricane. We had a hurricane. got mountains around us. But they said that thing just stalled and dumped 30 inches of rain. You know, down here you got all this sand that soaks it up. Boy, up there it's just like this, you know. It goes all down down the creek. And so please pray uh, for the people in, in, in western North Carolina. You keep hearing story after story after story after story. One man, they don't, they don't report on the news because those deaths are not confirmed. But, I mean, you know, where'd they go for three, four weeks? Uh, uh, they, they said uh, one man was stuck in mud, and they were, the rescuers came to him, and they were going to rescue him, and he said, just, just leave me alone. I'm, I'm going to die right here. And they said, well, why don't you want to see your family? He said, my family's dead. And he said, I, my wife and daughter's under me. And he said, I felt them quit scratching at my leg uh, after two days, after one day or so. And the story after story like that, horrible stories. And they call it the Appalachian Apocalypse. And uh, we, we did see one thing, and you know, that, uh, a lot of water can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. That's how the Grand Canyon got there. You know what they tell you at school? That a little bit of water over millions of years carved out the Grand Canyon. Nope, nope, a bunch of water in 40 days and 40 nights knocked it out in about 30 minutes and so uh, anyway the moral of the story is you always stick with the book you'll be all right you stick with the book it's a blessing to be here this evening thank you for coming uh, all of you that are visiting we're glad that you're here tonight and uh, what I'm gonna do tonight I'm gonna prove to you the Bible truth what I'm gonna do prove you the Bible truth among some other things in case you got any doubt in your mind now it sure is good to have uh, brother Dowler and his family uh, up in Okeechobee Appreciate these folks coming down from uh, North Carolina. Met them in North Carolina not long ago. But it sure is good to have you, Pastor. Thank you for coming on a Saturday night and bringing these folks with us, to, uh, be with us this evening. All right. Two places of Scripture. Daniel chapter 2. We'll start in Daniel chapter 2. And then hold your finger in Daniel 2 and get Revelation chapter 13. Daniel chapter number 2 and Revelation chapter number 13. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in this world. Here's, what, here's the future. It's coming on us real fast. The world tonight, as we know it, is marching at a breakneck speed to a one-world government. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who wins the election. I mean, one will be slower than the other, but eventually it's coming. Maybe the Lord will have mercy on us and give us a little break for a few more years. But anyway, we're headed for a one-world government. 
We're headed for a one world religion. We're headed for a one world monetary system and a one world dictator. That's what's coming. That's coming. Now, when I first started preaching, I preached. I preached it all the like this. I said, boy, one of these days, you're going to have to scan your hand at the grocery store to pay for your groceries. And I, I don't know how in the world that could happen. I preached that back in the 80s. And I, I didn't know how it could happen. Nobody questions that now. It's being done. I'm going to show you. I preached that two prophets would lay in the streets of Jerusalem and the whole world would be able to see it. We had no idea that could be done back then. Couldn't be done back then. Now, nobody questions that. You can sit at home on satellite TV and watch a war happening in the Middle East live. So what I'm saying is, by the time it's time for the Scripture to be fulfilled, God always has everything in place so that it can work out according to His Word. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this book right here, people. This book right here, it's seen the birth of all the other books. It'll see the grave of the rest of them. And when that book says something, you can take it to the bank. It's coming. It's coming. And so here we'll see how this uh, This is a prophecy in Daniel 2. King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream. And he dreams it has this big, big image. has a head of gold. Then it has silver. Then it has brass. And then it has iron. Daniel told him that that was four kingdoms that would come three after him. He was gold. He went down to silver. Every kingdom deteriorates a little bit in value. Uh, gold, silver, brass, and then iron. Now, by the last one, the last kingdom will be the kingdom of the Antichrist. Being stage set right now. Now look here what it said. For time's sake, look at verse 32. The image head was a fine gold. as Nebuchadnezzar. Then his breast and his arms, silver, the kingdom would come after him. Belly and his thighs, bright, the kingdom would come after him. Then one more, his legs of iron and his feet part of iron and part of clay. Now here's the way you know this is the last kingdom. Thou sawest till a stone that was cut out without hand. That would be the Lord Jesus Christ, the millennial kingdom, and smote the image, not in the head, not in the chest, not in the legs, on the feet. When Jesus comes back, the, the, the feet will be in power. That were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. Now, look here what it says about these people. These people that ruin. Look at verse 41. Whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom should be divided, and there should be in it of a strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest iron mixed with clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong, partly broken. Yeah. Now, hold your finger there just a second. What that's saying is, when the Antichrist comes in power, as you Bible teachers know, it will have ten kings that rule with him. That's them ten toes on that image. Ten kings that will rule, uh, ant, uh, rule the world with the beast. Now, them ten toes were made of iron mixed with clay. Now, me and you made out clay. Iron is metal. Now, and it said there'll be metal mixed with clay. So the last generation is human beings like us or like these guys that rule with the Antichrist that have machines in it, robot, uh, not robot, but like Iron Man. Yeah. Iron Man. Wonder, that's a weird thing. When do I come to Iron Man so popular all of a sudden yeah. the last few years? Yeah. All the kids want to be Iron Man. Yeah. Iron and clay. Iron and clay. So the Antichrist will have ten, it looks like, super humanoid rulers that rule with him that are part human and part machine. See, when Hollywood starts pushing stuff like that, you know it's coming down the road somewhere. Always has. That's predictive programming, you know, you see, like on them, them cartoons and stuff. And that is coming. And watch this. Watch this. Look at, look at verse number... 43, and whereas thou sawest iron mixed with clay, Mary Clay, they, who's the they, them ten kings, shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. So they ain't exactly normal men. And they're going to mingle with normal men. There we go with Genesis 6 all over again, people. 
sons of God and daughters of men. Them sons of God were here in Job 38 before God ever made uh, Adam and Eve. They were some, something different. Them sons of God in Genesis 6 were not normal people. And it said, they shall not cleave one another as iron not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kingdoms, obviously, that's when the Lord... So, what we're seeing now is Elon Musk and Neuralink has now got the computer chip of iron and place it in the head of, it, of people. It's already been done. It is being done right now. This ain't something that's going to come down the road somewhere. And it's helping people, and you ain't going to believe what they say. They say that this chip in a person's body will cause the blind to see and the lame to walk. Does that sound familiar to anybody in here? Oh, my goodness, my goodness. And Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. So what we're seeing tonight is the world being prepped and ready for somebody to step in and go. We saw in that Wuhan flu a few years ago, we saw how quick the world will just everybody cooperate all together. I, I remember I used to think, how in the world is Antichrist going to get all these crazy countries? They, they don't have, but we've seen it then, didn't we? And you know what? We're going to see it worse. And all that has to happen before the Antichrist can step in is a big emergency. And there's a big emergency of fixing to happen. A bunch of us is going to leave out of here, brother. You talk about an emergency, brother, and it's going to throw the world into chaos. And then all of a sudden, he's going to step out and he's the greatest artist, the greatest teacher, the greatest orator the world's ever seen. And they'll bow down. He can cure, he can cure the coronavirus. He can cure cancer. All you got to do is get the mark in here and you're good to go. You get everything free. You get free health care. You get free everything, brother. And the whole world will wonder after the beast. You look at that, Revelation 13. You might think I'm, 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 I'm just a crazy old fanatic. I, but I'm, 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 uh, I am uh, old and I am a fanatic, but I'm not crazy. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. The beast comes out there in verse 1. That's the Antichrist. A beast. A beast in Revelation represents a king and or a kingdom. And he has those ten horns. There they go. And he's a, he's a multi... Uh, uh, he's, a, he's a all three races. Black, brown, white. Like a leopard, feet of a bear, mouth of a lion, and the dragon, that's the devil, gave me his power and his seat and great authority. And then we see he'll have healing power in verse 3, and all the world will wonder. There's your one world, uh, one world governor. Now, the Antichrist will have power to heal. Now, I said that so that just because a preacher has a healing ministry don't mean he's of God. You got to watch some of this outfit going around nowadays. They're cuckoo. Uh, brother, I'm going to tell you, uh, the Antichrist will have power to heal. And the world wonder. They worship the dragon, verse 4. That's devil worship. Old Taylor Swift, never one of them. We'll, we'll, get on, we'll, we'll let you know about old Swifty here in a minute uh, before we get through. Amen. Amen. In case some of you have a low IQ and like her, uh, I'll, I'll try to help you a little bit tonight. Help you along a little bit and help you, help you with your brain there. Get you out of kindergarten and put you in the work, work of the Lord. All right, now look at verse number, look at verse 7. And it was given to him to make war with the saints. That those, uh, those Jewish converts, uh, those 144,000 preaching the gospel, there'll be thousands and thousands of people saved. During that time, he's going to make war with them, overcome them, powers given over all kindreds and tongues and nations. He's a one world dictator. A one world dictator. It ain't Trump. And it ain't chameleon. You know what a chameleon is, don't you? Uh, it ain't her. Lord, have mercy on us. Has it come to this, y'all? It, it ain't Joe Biden, and it ain't Putin, and it ain't that little boy over in North Korea, and, and it ain't uh, Netanyahu. This is Superman. This is Superman, brother. Everybody going to worship him. Now look, verse 13. 13, 13. 
He doeth great wonders. So they make fire come down from heaven upon the earth the sight of men. Call down fire from heaven to see them that dwell on the earth. And then look at verse number 15. And he had power to give life. Somebody said, the devil don't have power to have, give life. He will then. He will at that time. The image of the beast, the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Hold it. Just say it. Did you know now, I'll show you in a minute, Project Blue Beam. Re- research it if you, don't, uh, if you don't know what that is. They can now project an image of a, anything they want. Listen, they can put you in here and put Michael Jackson on that stage right there yeah. with his voice singing that and you swear up and down it was real. Great deception. And they'll be able to project an image in the sky. And in my opinion, I can't prove this, in my opinion, it will be maybe a, 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 an appearance of Jesus or what people think are, is Jesus. And he'll say all the religions in the world are all passed to the same place. And Judas Iscariot, about that time, spirit will come out of that pit. You know, Judas wasn't a normal person. You know that, right? Jesus said, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil. It didn't say he had a devil in him. It didn't say he is of the devil. It said he is a devil. So Judas wasn't normal. Judas, his ministry lasted three and a half years just like Jesus did. Judas died just like Jesus did. Hang him on a tree. Judas died, and it didn't say he went to hell either. It said he went to his own place. That's right. And it called him the son of perdition. And the only man in the Bible called the son of perdition is the Antichrist. So, so, if, if the spirit of Judas is in the pit and halfway through the tribulation, the Antichrist gets assassinated. Let's just say that. I don't know this. Let's just say. And everybody says, oh my goodness, we thought he was going to save us. We thought he was the hope of the world. He's dead now. And he gets, gets that right eye wounded. And then all of a sudden, CBS and NBC and CNN and Fox and everybody's there got the camera off you and that dude opens his eyes and sets up yep. in that casket and said, I am Jesus. Yeah. <whistles> Buddy, you talk about deception. Yep. Now, I don't know. That's just, that's just my thinking. I can't prove that. I'm not preaching that as doctrine. But I'm just saying, let's just say. Yeah. Now, the Bible said the Antichrist will have a weak right arm and a weak right eye. Show you that in a minute. That's why they had that move, those that series on TV back in the 80s and 90s called the Six Million Dollar Man. Yeah. Not the seven, not the eight, not the five, six. And his left hand was super strong, and his left eye was super strong. Yeah. That's weird, ain't it? Isn't it weird how Hollywood always they get it like almost right, and they don't even know that's in the Bible. The spirit that's in them people is is knows the Bible. And is making stuff have preparing the world for the Antichrist. Now, I might have lost some of you back up there about 80 foot. Uh, but get back in the boat now. And I promise you we're going to come out all right here in a little bit. I know this. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I, I do believe in conspiracies. There, it's in the Bible. I don't believe there's a devil behind every tree. About 99%. <laughs> but but I, I'm... I'm not crazy. Listen, people, this thing's happening. We're seeing it happen in front of our face. All right? Look at verse number 13. He had power to give life to the image of a beast. Buddy, when that thing starts talking, here's what's going to take place. Verse 16. Just like when Nebuchadnezzar had him bow down to that image, he causeth all, small, great, rich, poor, free, bond, to receive a mark in, not on, in the right hand or in the forehead. Not on, in, under the skin. Look at what it said. And nobody could buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's a one world dictatorship is coming to this world. Coming. I hope and pray you'll be saved tonight. If you don't know you're saved, my advice to you would be run to Jesus Christ just as fast as you can while you can, got a chance. I, I, if you're here tonight 
and you, you, you know you're saved, but you're not right with God, I encourage you to get right with God here tonight. Amen. Obey the Lord. And buddy, I'm telling you, wait, wait just a second, brother. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, make sure you're right with the Lord and not take everybody in your neighborhood to heaven with you when you die. Now this is a little small. We'll, we'll hope that you can see, but just as soon as we get the picture on here, brother, you can get the rest of those light. Are we on now? Uh, all right, let's go. Watch this tonight. I'm going to prove what I've been saying. All right, get them off. There's what they're saying now is a microchip that's getting, already, this ain't coming, this is here, implanted under your skin, on your hand, or in your forehead. This is not religion. This ain't got nothing to do. These people don't have nothing to do with church. This is a secular article. conditions or injuries, and you would never be able to tell that they have the implant. This is a technology that will aspirationally help the paralyzed to walk and the blind to see. It's already happening. See what it does, sometimes people blind, it'll pop, bypass it like straight wire in a car and starting it and make them be able to see again. It's already happening. So the Antichrist will have power to heal. He's a perfect counterfeit of the Lord Jesus Christ. This, which means that it interfaces directly with the brain matter through a physical connection. Interface with the brain. Interface means mesh, mush together. And that will allow their device to create a whole brain interface, reading and writing signals across the entire brain. This gives BCI the potential to solve any number of debilitating neurological issues and it can all the interface between brain and machine. With Hear that? Listen, brain and machine, iron and clay, yeah. iron and clay. Right. Neuralink device forming the interface between brain and machine. With a that person could actually have better control over a smartphone than a person using their hands. Elon what that said is, you will have better act, act control over your phone by being in your brain instead of having to type it out with your thumb. Well, we got a bunch of people that's perverted and filthy right now. Son, when the internet gets in their head, buddy, we in a mess. That's right. We in a mess, people. We in a mess. I, I pray Jesus comes tonight and gets us out of here. Amen. Flip the switch, Lord. The sooner the better. Amen. You say, don't say that, brother. Danny. I won't. Listen, you better get right, buddy. We're leaving out of here. We're leaving out of here. Amen. We're, hey, the, hey, we're the first generation in history ever seen this. On my head. That microchip that could one day be implanted under the skin of every single American. We have Sir, now that right there has been in your house for years. Yeah, yeah. Everything in your house right now has 666 on it. Right. Yep. Toothpaste, dog food, uh, shampoo, yep. it don't matter what it is. Check it out. You know, the two little, the two little ones on the end mean a six, two in the middle mean a six, and the two on the other end mean a six. Right. Right. Look at it tonight. Watch this. That's a concert. I don't know if you can see back there in the back, but there's thousands of people down here at the bottom, and they all got their cell phones out, and that image with those super eyes appears in the sky. Isn't that something? Look at that tonight. Leave the Watch most it. advanced. Watch this. You think this ain't happening? This is being done right now. You can go to a grocery store, and it tracks you when you come in, pick out what you want, and then go right out the door and never have to even talk to anybody or get your purse. Machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line. No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Technology. Once you've got everything you want, 
you can when you leave, our Just Walk Out technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. Heinz, no checkout. No, seriously. You know, if I didn't know the Bible, I'd think, cool, man, give it to me. Yeah, put the mark right there, man. Put my chip in. You don't have to worry about losing your wallet. You don't have to worry about somebody getting your credit card. Sounds great, don't it? But me and you know there's a much more sinister thing. I, look, people, I'm not saying that's the mark of the beast. But if you can't see that that's a step in that direction, you're, you're not very smart spiritually when it comes to the Bible. That's a definite move in the direction this world's headed in tonight. We're getting us ready. We've never seen that before in history. Watch this tonight. Look how the devil's getting our teenagers ready with rock and roll album, 666, The Child. Hang Lucifer, hang with Lucifer, 666. Route 666 on the movies, on our album, The Omen, the movie, 666. CERN over there in Switzerland with a 666 sign. 666 Park Avenue, I've seen that building in New York City. Look at that. Kids out wearing shirts like that right there. Isn't that weird? I mean, don't you think that's kind of odd that here we are in 2024, modern America, and uh, an obscure book that, that, that they think's outdated, and there's one number in there that's called the devil's number, and they're wearing it on their shirt? What's this tonight? Thank you, Lord Satan. Those are shirts for young people to wear. They're being turned away from Jesus. Google. Team Satan. There's what they're saying is coming in the near future. Or sell. With a 666. The the Look at all these movie stars. At Emma Roberts. Brit uh, going with Britney and Spears. And rappers. And Richard over Thompson the rappers. The, the singers. Rapper, What's this tonight? Alistair Crowley with a Satan 666 on the back of his shirt. Look at this. I'm going to let you hear a little bit of this, but it's, it's, you can't understand the word, but it says the ritual has begun. Satan's work is done. 666, the number of the beast. 666, the number of the beast. 666. The one for you and me. Now see, the Beatles started that junk when John Lennon said we're more popular than Jesus. So all the other bands said, I know how to get famous. Slap, take a slap at the Lord Jesus Christ. And they follow it right up, right on suit. And there's where you get it. The one for you and me. That, that said that. There's Aleister Crowley before this. And there's the, the, the guy from... Uh, uh, Guns, Guns and Roses, and Roses seem all these guys, look at this, there's Britney Spears, there's a uh, little uh, Selena Gomez with a 666 smiley face on her shirt. Who sings about giving her... Look at these shirts here, these people wearing Hollywood. Emma Roberts and, uh, and uh, some of the movie stars Grace. in Hollywood. Jenner. That little that little Jenner, that little girl, one of them car trashes. Uh, yeah. One yeah. of them... Hey. Now look, what's that little brat in Hollywood advertising the Mark of the Beast for. Tell me. You tell me they ain't a spirit working to get people used to that mentally, get people ready to accept the Antichrist? Look, people, look, if I said that in a church 30 years ago, people have been bawling their eyes out right now. You know why it don't have no effect on you? Because you, it's, it's entertainment to you. It's all entertainment. We are living in a calloused generation. Nothing shocks us anymore. Right. Nothing bothers us anymore. Nothing makes us cry anymore. I tell you what, every one of us in here tonight, including me, ought to be on this altar bawling our eyes out for our boys and our girls and our, our young people and our teenagers and our grandkids. Yeah. Every one of us, and ask God to give us our burden back Amen. for souls like we used to have back Amen. in the day. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Look at here. What's this tonight? What's this tonight, folks? The mark of the beast. What's this? That Christ's name. The rest of these are... Look at that. That's a little Jenner girl. See that 666 sign? That right there? Three sixes. I don't mean three-pointer. It's the perfect sixes. Over the right eye. Don't forget that. The Antichrist right eyes darken 
Don't, that's not an accident. Followers. Look at this. Over and over and over and over and over. Ariana Grande. Watching out that dark bright eye. Tony Hawk in line. Same thing, the one eye. Rihanna. Same thing. See all of them give the mark of the beast sign with the upside down cross. The upside down cross with a 666 sign over the right eye. They don't even know it's in the Bible. That's right. That's right. Uh, Lord, people. God have mercy on us tonight. God have mercy on us tonight. See the upside down cross. Jesus saves I spend. The end is at hand. The end is at hand. In that odd, the right hand with us all seeing eye inside of it. The pyramid. Watch it. Watch this tonight. Can you see? You think they won't take the mark of the beast? Look at tattoos. Hey, I wonder how come tattoos got so popular all of a sudden in the last 20 years? Everybody wants one. I'm not fussing at you if you don't. There ain't nothing you do right now, I guess. Uh, but I, it's, it's the devil is getting us prepared to take it to mark. It's all fitting together. Every bit of it. Look at that. One eye. Satan loves me. With an upside down cross. That's the most blasphemous thing you can do to cross. Turn it upside down. Lordy mercy, y'all. About time to go soul winning, ain't it? 666, flight 666, Satan's child, three sixes, 666, Iron Maiden, 666, three six mafia, you see it over and over and over, and over and over and over. Even on the energy drinks, on the smiley faces, rappers you see it over and over and over and over and over even in Disney now look at this this is what your Bible says Zechariah 11 chapter chapter 11 verse 17 and the context is Judas Iscariot by the way woe to the idle shepherd not I-D-L-E I-D-O-L that leaves the flock the sword will be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean, dark, uh, clean or up and dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Well, 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 Zechariah, three thousand years ago, y'all. You know, if I didn't believe the Bible, you're gonna have to explain. If you're an atheist here tonight, or you're watching this on live, or if we're live, I don't know if we are or not. Uh, but if you're watching this here tonight, you're going to have to explain, is that an accident? That's just a coincidence? You think that's just a coincidence? Look, watch this this evening. We'll move along here quickly here. The devil's preparing a generation of young people through rap music, through concerts, through dancing, through, through the movie star, through Little Wayne. Lady Doo Doo and all them. Watch it. There's Anton LaVey. Media against Back itself. The first church church of in San Francisco, California. Yeah. The dark right eye. Yeah. Uh, amen. Amen. Yeah. Now, this is a cartoon for kids, and this is several years old. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you how he's getting a younger generation the little kids. Yeah. See, the devil has a plan for old people, right. the devil has a plan for mom and daddy. But the truth is, most of us old people, we're so hard-headed and sitting our way, he can't do much with us. But he can get them kids. And that's what he wants. He wants kids. He wants kids. Most of you ain't going to do nothing right, wrong, or nothing. But the devil wants them kids because he can influence them. You know what? It's time, people. Time to go soul winning. Time to get you a handful of tracks and go knock on every door in your street. He said, I'm afraid. Do it anyway. You'll be all right. Amen. It's time for us to tell the old, old story. It's time for us to load up people. Watch this, watch this right here. 
They call this the smart mark. And it's going to be in everybody's hand. And we're all connected once we get the smart mark. Watch. Roll out of Rook Unlimited's most fantastic device ever. The smart mark. Throw your other devices away because the smart mark is more than just a phone. It's part of you. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's part of you. Part iron. Part clay. She said it's more than. It's, it's so you can throw your phone away. You don't need it no more. Got it right here. You say, well, that's on the wrist. You know, in the Bible, the wrist is part of the hand, right? You understand that? I have people say, well, why it said Jesus had the nails in his hands and it break? No, 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 no. The wrist is part of the hand in the Bible. You know, you get that in Genesis where it said Jesus, uh, uh, they took that bracelet and put it on her hand. You know where a bracelet goes? Right there. That's your hand. Wrist and hand. Same thing. Now watch what happens with the smart mark. Use it as cash. Book your travel. And even shoot video. Distribution points are all over the city. And don't let the lines discourage you. The Rook Unlimited Smart Mark is worth the wait. You remember when everybody was trying to make everybody get the vaccine? They said, you can go here, you can go there, you can go there. I, we're, we're, te- y'all, we're lab rats, y'all. Yeah. They're running tests on us. Right. Yeah. Next thing will be the mark. I never realized how wonderful technology could make me feel. The smart mark has brought order to my life. See that? What a testimony. My life was all messed up. Everything was out of order. The smart mark has brought order to my life. So I'm going to be lined up ready to get it. Especially if you don't get sick. And if you do, you get free health care. And you get taken care of. You will own nothing and be happy. That's what Klaus Schwab and the One Worlders say. Amen, brother. Amen. Best part? It's absolutely free. A gift of thanks. No, it ain't, buddy. There's a price to pay. That Bible said any man that received the mark or the number of his name shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone. Brother, you have to worship the devil to be a part of that system. And I'm telling you tonight, it, it is not free. It comes with a price of a man's soul. Our city from Rook Unlimited. 23. All right, now here's the Antichrist. And he said number 23, I don't know why. It's a weird number. I, some, I can tell you some weird stuff about that. But he said it's time for us to test the system. And so what they do, they punch in. Everybody's got smart mark. You punch in. We must find the flex fighters. So everybody all of a sudden thinks it at the same time. Mind control. Watch. Percent of the population has been given the smart mark, number one. Time to test our system, number six. We should find the flex fighters. I ought to find the flex fighters. We should find the flex flex fighters. See? That way you can control the whole population. You know what the Bible calls that? Great, strong delusion. Because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Hey, people! There's bad times coming on this old world. Run to Jesus while you got a chance. If you're here tonight, you don't know that you know that you know where you're going when you die. Run to the Lord Jesus Christ while you got a chance. Look at this fool. Little Nos. You know why I call him a fool? Because it takes a fool to imitate Jesus Christ and mock him and buy, put, make a pair of tennis shoes and put blood in the shoes, people. Real human blood in the shoes. And the kids go crazy over it. Here he is mocking Jesus Christ on the cross. And millions of kids following his perspective. This way. Took him to the telling and I told him. That's up. Now he's Noah. And there's the ark. And the flood came, and he saves the world. Day zero is a new beginning. You start all over again. Now let's talk about old Swoop. 
You know, I never, I don't know one song Taylor Swift sang. I never, but I always thought she just another one of them little girls would come up and she pretty and she could sing, and so they made her a movie star. But something happened to her in the last couple, three years. She has went from here to the top overnight, and she has power over millions of young people. Come to find out, Satan made her some Kool Aid, and she drank it and made some kind of a deal, and the old tailor died. And the new Taylor is leading the generation to hell. There's Taylor Swift's tombstone. I she come back alive. Like your little games. See, she comes back alive. The old Taylor's dead. She's coming out of a graveyard. That's some Halloween stuff there, buddy. Yeah. Look at this. Watch this tonight. You'll see the snake all around her throne she's sitting on. And the serpent comes up and pours her a drink, and she drinks it. Here you see him on the right there, pouring that out of that teapot? That's a serpent wrapped around that teapot, pouring her a drink. See, she gets killed, she drinks the Kool-Aid, or whatever it is, he's spitting in that cup. And then she comes back as the new tailor to deceive a generation. And there she is. Now look, they claim, oh, that's just a T, Brother Danny, represent Taylor. Now you tell me what that looks like. You tell me what that looks like. The cross, she's on it, the worshipers below her feet. Oh, no, that's just a T. Well, that's what you want to think. It's the same spirit in her as the same as little and all. Let me tell you something, young people. She is not good for you. I don't care how good it sounds. I don't care how good it makes you feel. That's a, you're inviting demonic spirit into your home and into your house. I'm telling you tonight, people, it's about time we woke up. It's about time we had revival. Hey, hey, God can still do it. God can still save our kids. God can still work in our churches. God can still do anything that he ever could. Hallelujah. He's still on the throne. Look at this. She's dead. Watch her say Because she's dead. See? Now here she is at the Super Bowl. And this thing right there with that orange head has Balenciaga on it. That was that group that got in trouble for that, that, that child pedophilia ring sort of got accused of here a while back. And she's here in the booth with Taylor Swift with an upside down cross on her neck and watch Taylor Swift. They know when them, they know when the cameras is going to be put on them. So she waits till the cameras put on her and chugs a beer down like that right there to tell every little girl in America this is what you got to do to be cool. Chug down a beer. Dance. Lose your, your virginity. Live wild. Live crazy. Nobody can tell you it's your life. Watch her. Wild. Watch her pull that watch her pull that upside down cross up. We were paying attention a year ago. They were exposed for exploiting sexualizing children. That company right there. And in their ads. And all of the celebrities Watch Taylor Swift drink that chug that beer on the right when the camera's on. Who love Balenciaga didn't have one word to say See? about it and still support them. See Plus the is taking off a demonic support them. See the satanic sign she was giving that right there? Yeah. Right there? Uh, on the satanic album it said that's three fingers down to deny the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and two fingers up for the devil's horns. Yeah. Yeah. It's a song that Taylor did with Ice Spice called... Now look at this group here. I have Satan in me flowing through my veins and through my music. That's the words of the song. ACDC sent a highway to hell and, 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 and like and hell's bells. Hell's bells ain't a bad place to be. ACDC told our whole generation, hell ain't a bad place to be. Now we go to Disney. This is a Christmas special that Disney put on. I hate to say this, y'all, because I know, I mean, I know I'm in Florida. 
But there was a time when we was little kids, if something was by Disney, you could pretty well let your kids watch it and you didn't have to worry about it. You know, back in the old days, old Yeller and Annie and all them, old, not no more. Not no more, but that place has gone to hell. Amen. I'm not trying to be a party pooper. I'm not trying to spoil all your fun. Look, I'm just telling you people, this world's sinking in filth and in the sewage and the mire of sin, getting ready for the Antichrist. Watch these kids at this Christmas event get their letters a little mixed up. We love you, Satan. That's Disney. And then they act like it was an accident. And say, oh, well, we, it meant Santa. We meant Santa and change it back. You mean to tell me they couldn't edit that out? Right. We love you, Satan. Spelling. <laughs> See, look at that. Now, this is after school Satan. Instead of a Bible club. You have after school Satan in the public school. We have some in North Carolina. I'm, I don't know if you have it here or not. You, at least you've got a governor that's got a brain. But you ought to thank God for him too. But I'm going to tell you something, people. This, this is going on in schools all across America. It's after school Satan club. Satan, not an evil guy. He wants you to learn and question why. He wants you to have fun and be yourself. See what a cute little tune that is? Yeah, yeah. By the way, there is no hell. Yeah. If you're a little boy, you want to be a girl, that's fine. If you're a little girl and you want to be a boy, that's fine. Satan loves you just like you are. He's not like that mean old God. He's not like your mean people at church. He loves you just like you are. He's your friend. Science is important. So we understand the world. Satan looks for truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. Isn't that something? These are the same people that preached us about separation of church and state. Indoctrinating kids. Satan's a cool guy. He loves you. He likes you just like you are. You don't want to go to church. Them people's crazy. They judge you. They believe things are sin. They, let's help Satan, boys and girls. Look. That's pretty bold, ain't it? That's pretty bold, ain't it? Kid, don't worry about it. There ain't no hell. You know, what I, you know what I found out about Satan? He's a liar and the father of it. He's a father of lies. He had no truth abides in him. He was a liar from the beginning. He lied to Adam and Eve. He lied to Noah and he lied to David. And he lied to Cain and Abel. And he lied to, oh, down, down through the centuries. He lied to me. He lied to you. He's a liar. There is a hell, kid. There is a hell. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the truth and the life, and Jesus said there is a hell. Yeah, that's right. Satan a liar. Right. Satan a liar. Watch this. After school Satan. The two fingers up like Pope gives and the bad right eye. Well, 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 well. That's something. They have no idea. I want you to know this nut got an award recently in Hollywood and she said some people get up here and thank Jesus for this. Nobody had less to do with this than Jesus. So all I want you to know is blanket Jesus this award is my God now. No one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. Was... No he sure didn't. That's one thing she said it right. To him Caesar Milan to be up here. So all I can say Jesus, this award is my God now. <laughs> no. What's this? Listen, she'll regret that one of these days, people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One of these days when she lifts up her eyes in hell, yeah. she thought, I went to hell, that stupid little piece of metal. That ain't God. That ain't her God. That's her God. 
One day she'll say, God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. Jesus, I didn't mean it. But it'll be too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. What's uh, on YouTube? Burning the Bible. Then watch it burn. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Then watch it burn. Jesus Christ, I hate you. Well, you know one thing that does? You know, that hurts my stomach to look at that. But I'll tell you something else it does. Listen, people, you know what? They'll never, you never see them burn a Koran. You never see them burn Islam's holy book. You never see them say anything wrong about any other religion. It's always the Bible and Jesus, the Bible and Jesus, the Bible and Jesus. You know what that means? We got the right one, y'all. We got the one the devil hates. We got the one the devil fights. We got the one the devil tries to destroy. Listen, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is seeking sand. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, they, they, the devil knows which book's right. They don't ever say nothing about Muhammad. It's always Jesus. It's always Jesus. It's Marilyn Manson at a concert. He dresses up like a preacher and puts on a suit and a tie. And he's an Antichrist superstar record. And he said, prick your finger, it is done. The moon has now eclipsed the sun. The angel has spread his wings. The time has come for repent. And he starts ripping the pages out of the Bible and throwing them out in the crowd to an angry mob. Isn't that something? Yeah. Of all the books in the world, yeah. that's the one they're going to rip the pages out of. Yeah. You know why? Because Satan hates that book right there. Right. Right. That, I doubt that's an NIV he's got in his hand. Right. Yeah. I doubt it seriously. Right. Buddy, the devil knows which book's right. Yeah. If you go to a church where the Bible's preached and your pastor's a Bible leader, you ought to shout every day of your life that you have access to the truth. Yeah. And, and what's coming in this world. And you're not, we're not as others that, that the world overtake us in darkness. We are not as others. Uh, brother, we're, our eyes are open. We know what's going on. Amen. You ought to shout, thank God. He's been good to us. Amen. Time has come to repent. Look at this concert. He's eating the pages of the Bible. What the world's wrong with that man? This was the largest gathering of Satanists ever in America a few months ago. I think it's up somewhere up north. You know, they're doing it all in, in uh, Salem, Massachusetts this weekend. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've seen a guy up there witnessing. The other day, somebody sent me a video, and this boy's up there witnessing. They got goat's head on their, all over them, and, and they're demons. And devil. Watch, watch what this nut says as she takes the Bible. She said, this is a symbol of oppression. We've got to get rid of it without fierce opposition, and we stand here today in defiance of their siege and destroy their symbols of oppression. Symbols of oppression. Listen, brother. God is heaven. is sitting there looking at that. And His wrath is building. It's building. It's building. It's building. Son, I wouldn't want to be in the way when He finally lets go. Lord, you'll run for the rocks and the mountains and beg them to cover you, but it'll be too late. There'll be a period of five months where you desire to die and can't even die. There'll be sores and blisters on people. The bad things are coming and fire from heaven. Watch her as she destroys. <laughs> Only in America, people that dumb. <laughs> Hell, Satan. <laughs> you say, Brother Dan. There's what hell's really like. According to the Bible, that woman will one day experience that right there in the lake of fire. There is a hell. There is a hell. Look at what ACDC says. Satan gets it. And the crowd screams and goes wild. They're dancing. But those same young people will one day walk up in the lake of fire where, where they can't get out and where there's no railing and where you can't get a drop of water on your tongue and you can't get out and you're screaming. You'll for the concert to the lake of fire, kids. Hey, you think it's a joke? It's not a joke. There's nothing funny about it. Look here what he says in this song here. 
Look here, could you stand the torture? Could you stand the pain? Could you put your faith in Jesus when you're burning in the flame? Listen to this. See how mixed up it is? It's all just confusing. If you refuse to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll go to hell and you'll wind up saying it's nobody's fault but mine. It's nobody's fault but mine. I listened to that preacher up there that night. I thought he was crazy. I thought he was overboard. I thought he was being judgmental. And now I'm here and it's nobody's fault but mine. It's nobody's fault but mine. I want to party. I want to smoke weed. I want to drink beer. I want to have sex with my girlfriend or my boyfriend. And it's nobody's fault but mine. And you never get out. You hear me? You never get out. There is no exit to land. There is no escape. There is no death. You never get out. never know when death will strike. Any of us could be on our way home tonight and this would happen. Every moment so goes to hell you never get out for eternity. People will scream. People will burn. You say, well, Brother Danny, don't you think that's a little extreme, scaring people? Everything I'm showing you here tonight is right in your Bible. That's exactly what Jesus said. He said, the worm dieth not. He said, the fire's not quenched. It's in the Bible, people. What do you want, a preacher that don't preach the Bible? What good is a preacher that don't preach the Bible? What, what in the world you even got one for if you don't preach the Bible? Amen. Listen, you get on one side or the other, brother. All right, you make up your mind where you stand. Please help me. Oh, God, let me out. Oh, God, please. God, I'm sorry. This is your neighborhood. This is your school. People running by the thousands. Not going just what I've been up here preaching tonight. Thousands have gone to hell. The good news is tonight, 2,000 years ago, there was a man that looked out into the future yeah, and saw you here tonight, young man, young, young ladies, teenagers. He saw you here tonight. And you know what he did? He said, I love that person. Way out there in the future in 2024, New Testament Baptist Church, Cape Coral, Florida. And the Bible said he walked up the old hill and let them nail him to the cross. And paid my sin debt and paid yours. I'm going to ask you to look at this tonight. And then I'm going to ask you a question. If you're here tonight and you're not saved, we don't, we don't need any lights back there, y'all. We need just one up here maybe in just a minute. No lights back there, please. If you're here tonight, you know you've been saved. But it's been a long time since you really got right with God. This is your chance. If you're here tonight, you know you're saved, but you're backslid. This, no lights back there, please. None. If you're here tonight, and you know that you're not ready to meet Jesus, I can see a lot of y'all's faces here tonight. Visibly, the Lord is working on you. And I'm going to let you see this tonight. And i tell you what I want you to do. I want you to get out of your seat. I want you to make your way down here tonight. And I want you to sell out to Jesus once and for all, 100%. We don't have long, people. We do not have long. Why not every one of us, me, you, all of us, sell out to Jesus? They put him on that old rugged cross. He died for me. The least we can do is live for him. I want you to stand, please. No light. No light. Everyone standing. Let's do business with God here tonight. Come on.
people. Come on, young people. Come on, teenagers. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Amen. Come on, boys. Come on, young people. Come on, mommies and daddies. Let's do business with the Lord here tonight. Amen. 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 That's right. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, girls. Come on, teenagers. How about it, Mom? How about it, Dad? How long has it been since we really got right with God here tonight? Come on. Come on. Let's just crowd around this altar here tonight. Let's obey the Lord. Let's obey the Lord. Come on, back there in the back. Come on. Somebody pray for these kids. Somebody pray for these young people coming over here. Somebody pray for these here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You better get in while the getting good. You better get in while you can. Come on, young people. Come on, mamas and daddies. Yeah, man. Somebody over here, just give it all to Jesus. And I call upon the name of the Lord, friend. One of these days, it'll be too late. Something need a soul winner over here, y'all. This soul winner right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, it ain't too late. It ain't too late. You can still get in. Come on right now. Come on, Mama. Come on, Daddy. Let's get this all tonight and do business with the Lord. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Let the Lord help you tonight. Let the Lord help you tonight. Can you do that? Glory. Glory. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, God, help us. Oh, God, help us tonight. Help us tonight. You've been warned. You've been warned. Take heed, brother. Flee the wrath to come. Flee from the wrath to come. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord, help us tonight. God, get a hold of that one that needs to be saved tonight. Touch him and draw him repentance while there's still time. Dear Lord, please bring the Jesus while we have an opportunity. Amen. 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 Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm sure I'm glad I'm saved. Glory to God, it's good to be saved, people. Woo! Glory to God. Good to be saved. Thank God we're saved. Thank God we don't have to go to hell. Thank God we don't have to live with the devil and his angels. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen. So I'm still praying here tonight. Thank God. But the Bible said rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. Amen. Yes, praise the Lord. So I'm still praying here tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those young ladies make things right over there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Boys, hey. Get in there and get on fire for God. God can use you, young people. He can use you, young people. Young people, get more people in a church than any other group. Get on fire for the Lord. Bring your friends. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. I'm glad as an 18-year-old boy, the Lord saw fit to have mercy on me and save me from hell. I don't have to go to hell when I die. I don't deserve to heaven, but he, he did it all for me. He deserves all the praise, all the glory. About time you got back in church, ain't it? Ain't it about time you got back where you need to be? Yes, sir. Enjoy it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So 
some still praying tonight? Listen, y'all, some still praying here tonight? We ought to thank God every day of our life that our eyes have been opened. Thank God every day for this King James Bible that shows us the truth. Amen? You know how we know all that stuff? By this book right here. Wasn't for this book, we wouldn't know what was going on. We'd think the world's getting better. Amen? Lord have mercy. All right, preacher, now give us one light back there, Brother Chandler. One light so it won't be so bright all of a sudden. And uh, there you go, that's plenty. I, I told you. I told you. All right. All right, preacher, you come on. I don't know what all happened here tonight. We still had some in the oven here a minute ago. Uh, thank the Lord who all got saved and what you come and, and do whatever God leads you to do. Hey, now, don't, don't lay out of Sunday school in the morning. I'm going to talk about Halloween. That's right. Amen. The devil's favorite day is Halloween. Talk about tomorrow morning Sunday school. All right. If you don't believe this book, you got your head in the sand. So deep, your hair's root. It's taking root down there. So, I'll tell you what, that's good, wasn't it? Man, praise God. Is there somebody here tonight that you did not come forward?